Welcome to the magnificent Trevi Fountain. Few places in the world have a larger number of beautiful fountains than Rome, and the one ahead of you is really the crown jewel in the collection. The Trevi Fountain is not only Rome's largest Baroque fountain, but also highly regarded as the most beautiful one. This unique fountain has a long history. It originally dates back to ancient Roman times, when it served as the terminal point of the aqueduct Aqua Virgo. Aqua Virgo translates to the Virgin's Water and derives from an old Roman legend. The legend states that a young maiden revealed the source of the water to a group of Roman soldiers. Emperor Augustus then ordered a 22 kilometer long aqueduct to be built with the purpose of leading the water to the thermal baths. If you look at the upper levels of the fountain, you can see a base relief on either side depicting scenes from this legend. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the once so great Aqua Virgo fell into a ruinous state. It was out of action for almost a millennium until Pope Nicholas V ordered its restoration in 1453. From that point on, the aqueduct was known as Aqua Vergine. During this restoration, Nicholas V made sure that the Roman custom of having fountain at the end point of an aqueduct was kept. He made sure a small simple basin was built at the terminal point of the aqueduct. Later, during the reign of Pope Urban VIII, the fountain was deemed insufficiently dramatic. The famous sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini was assigned to the project, but it was all put on hold when the Pope died. The planning for a new fountain on the site began 100 years later, this time under the Roman architect Nicola Salvi, whose work was inspired by the sketches left by Bernini. The fountain took 30 years to finish and it stood completed in the year 1762. One of the fountain's most striking features is its size. It stands a massive 25 meters tall and almost 20 meters wide. The fact that the fountain is built in a small square makes its size even more imposing. However, what the fountain is most known for is of course its beautiful architecture. The theme of the fountain is the taming of the power of the water. The thundering waters tumble forward over rocks and petrified vegetation in a mighty fashion. The fountain is dominated by several large statues. In the very center you will see a man standing in a large shelf chariot. This statue depicts the Roman god of the water and the sea, Neptune, also known as Poseidon in Greek mythology. The chariot is pulled by two seahorses. One of them is calm and submissive, while the other one is impatient and restless. The creature's different temper is said to symbolize the fluctuating moods of the sea. Each horse is guided by a triton, a mermaid-like creature who formed the escort of marine divinities in Greek mythology. The creatures do not only add symbolic meaning to the fountain with the contrast in their mood and poses, but they also provide a symmetrical balance. You can also see a woman statue in the niche on either side of Neptune. The left one carries a seashell full of fruit, representing abundance. The other lets a snake drink water from her cup, representing salubrity. Together, they are said to represent different aspects of the sea. The upper levels of the fountain show several long inscriptions. They are all written in Latin and celebrate the ones responsible for the construction. The one at the very top says, Clemens XII, Supreme Pontiff, embellished with splendid refinement, the Aqua Virgo, esteemed for its abundance and wholesomeness, in the year of our Lord, 1735, sixth of his office. The lower one reads, Benedict XIV, 
Supreme Pontiff, brought it to completion. If you look into the pool, you will see lots of coins. A traditional legend holds that if visitors throw a coin into the fountain, they are ensured to return to Rome. A modern interpretation is that throwing two coins into the water will lead to a new romance and three will ensure either marriage or divorce. An estimated 3,000 euros are thrown into the fountain each day. The collected money is donated to charity organizations. Today, the Trevi Fountain is one of Rome's most famous tourist sites. It is much more than just a fountain. It is a fantastic work of Baroque art and is recognized as a true jewel of water and stone.